Hey, this is Benjamin, and today we're talking about verb endings in the Welsh language, because the verb, I think, is potentially the best way to start Welsh. Celtic languages in general are verb-first languages. Can you hear the dog barking? Anyway, let's look at some of these verbs so you can see how this language works. So, enu is the word for name. The enui, you Benjamin. My name is Benjamin. With a bit of emphasis on my name is. But if you're saying that something's called or you want to make a verb of it, enui. Enwi. Mara Baba and Kali Enwi. The baby is having its naming. But there's different bases for these verbs as well. So gweld is to see. But the verb base is gwell. Gwelais. A film, Nathur. I saw the film last night. A wellesti, a lleiad, did you see the moon? Or redeg, to run. It drops off the eg at the end. Redeg, redodd i'r shop. He, she ran to the shop. But often we have another change where if you're changing the thing to a verb, the middle of the word will change the vowel. So look at this. To stand is sevil, but the verb base is sav. Savu chortha drus. Stand by the door. Geni, to be born, changes as well. Often you'll hear, like in formal context, ganwid umisaust. Born in the month of August. So that changes and that's something that you need to know. That this language changes the shape of verbs to convey different meanings. The O ending and the E or U ending are the most common by far. But not all are like this. Many are combinations of different forms that change. So look at these. Am I to suspect becomes am hey. Am hey of but rubeth oile. He suspected that something was out of place. Am hey of but rubeth oile. Defro to wake. Defroni in a bore, I mean the irtrife. We will wake in the morning and go to the beach. Avo to promise. Though I in my bodin in Kurraith, I will promise once we arrive. The root is Avo, not Avo. There was a change a long time ago. From ao to o, like gorondo to listen. Gorondo was irachwedo. He she listened to the legend. Dadlai to argue becomes dadlai. Dadlai I saw he in a kegin. I argued with her in the kitchen. One that throws people quite a bit is the verb to strike taro. The verb is taro, but it changes. It's trau. The base is trau. So trawoth, a borf. He struck the table. Trawoth. Trawais. I struck. Or I beat. You can see from those few examples that the base of action words really do change quite a bit depending on who's doing the action. So I think getting the grips on those 
is a good way to get a grip on important aspects of the language early so that you're not going to trip up later. And we'll carry on with more of the verb in the next episode. See you next time.